welcome back to Bob TV. This is episode two. And um, today we've got a question from Jessica and we're going to answer these questions. So hopefully you get to see what we're kind of like on tour because we're going on tour next year. Yay! Oh, that was kind of a cool like yeah. just hand. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's a rainbow. Mm. Maybe we've had too much sugar today. I think so. <laughs> okay, so Jessica asks, um, she said, so I've been thinking a lot about what direction I want to take my business um, when I open back up for orders. I really want to move in a direction where my cake look is more elegant and get away from busy looking kind of character cakes. I think this will help enable me to use sugar flowers on my cakes more, which is something I really want to do more of. My question is, how do I get into this direction? And what do I do when someone sends me a picture of a cake and says I want it to look like this, but the look of the cake is not in line with the direction I want my business to go in? I think that happens a lot. Actually. It does happen a lot. Because, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start with, um, firstly, hi, Jessica. Thanks for your question. Yeah. Uh, so she's basically saying, how do I align my business with the direction I want to go in? Okay, so when we start out, we all start out doing everything, right? We do Jack just, of all trades. Yeah, yeah. we just yeah. do everything. A bit of wedding cake, a bit of kid cake, a bit of cupcake, a bit of macaron, whatever, although I never did the macaron thing. Um, so the problem is that once you decide on what your niche and style is, how do you make that happen? So there's a couple of ways you make that happen. The first is that your website or whatever you are using to advertise your business needs to show the kind of cakes you want to make. Yeah. So if at the moment your cake gallery shows a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of everything, you need to start slowly phasing those out and only putting up the cakes in the style that you want that to be. And that's where things like dummy cakes, doing classes, increasing your skills, she talks about sugar flowers, are really, really important. You need to start to become the business that you want people to think you are. Meaning that don't have a photo of there of an Elmo cake if you never want to make an Elmo cake. Similarly, when you promote yourself online and social media and through other channels, don't put up cakes of things you don't want to do. You but, can do them, you just don't have to post them. And that's, yeah. that's the thing we always tell people. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I can't tell you how many famous cake people there are that people will say to me, oh, they only do structure cakes or whatever. And the reality of it is in their business, they do all kinds of cakes, but the ones that they share publicly or globally are not that kind of cake. They do lots of things. So start to promote the kinds of things you're wanting to be doing. You're going to have to make those dummy cakes. You're going to have to do those courses. You're going to have to talk about Oh, I just did this amazing sugar flower cast, whatever the deal is. So put out there the things that you want your style to be. Now, if you're in a position where you can't afford to say no to orders yet, that's okay. Just do that over a slower period of time. So every time you put up new two new cake pictures, take off two of the ones that you don't want to be doing any longer. You should probably be doing that anyway as your skills increase, but certainly from a style point of view, mm -hmm. that's really the best way to do that. Start putting out there what it is that you want your style to be, and slowly over time you'll be, get to be known as the sugar flower lady, or the toxic turvy lady, or the whatever, but not the cheap cake lady. Okay, no, <laughs> you don't want that. You don't want that. <laughs> and then what do you do when she asks also, what do you do when somebody sends you a picture of a cake and says, I want it to look like this, but the look of the cake is not in line with the direction I want to go with my business? That's based on a whole bunch of other factors. If it's something you are capable of, and you probably enjoy doing, and you have the space in your diary, and you're more than happy to do it, then go ahead and do it. Just don't necessarily advertise that. If, however, it's something that's completely out of your comfort zone, you know you won't do a good job of it, you're not interested in it, and it really is putting all those mental alarm bells up, just say to them, look, it's really not my style and not my thing. It's a beautiful cake. I mean, don't be rude. It's a beautiful cake, but really not my thing. Perhaps Jennifer in the suburb next to me could do a better job of that. She's really great at character cakes or whatever it is. So I would definitely be giving them a referral onto somebody else and just say, I could do this for you. It's not really my thing. And most people understand these days. They totally that, understand. Yeah. yeah, that cake people are art people. And so they kind of get that if you're saying no, it's not that you're saying, well, that cake's ugly. You're just saying, not really my and thing. And I think a lot of the times they appreciate that more, that, that kind of honesty more than, mm -hmm. any, than anything else. So, yeah. yeah. They're, they're really, thank you. That's a client calling to see if I'll make an Elmo cake. <laughs> <laughs> so they're really happy to kind of hear you say, look, I can do it, but I can't really execute it all that well. Here's somebody who can execute that kind of thing for you better and away they go from there. And yeah, and I think from experience as well, people tend to order what they see. So on your yeah. website and your portfolio, if you have tons of that same style kind of cake, like Michelle said, you know, you tend to attract more of those people. Um, and they're less likely to ask you if all you have is wedding cakes in your, in your gallery, they're less likely to ask you for a character cake. Yeah. Yeah. I can't tell you the number of times that I've had clients come in and visit me for a consultation and they have like an idea in mind, they had a picture in mind that they send me and then they come in and they see a cake on my wall and they're like, oh, I want that one straight away. So yeah. So know, sometimes yeah. it's about leading people in the direction you want to go. Yeah. 
Don't post Elmo if you're not willing to make Elmo. That's and right. he's copyright anyway, yes. so you probably shouldn't be doing it just quietly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching Bob TV, guys. We'll see you in our next episode. And don't forget, come on tour with us because yes. we get more awesome like this and cute t-shirts. Yes. See, it says you rock and you rule. My favorite shirt. <laughs> Have a great day. See ya.